Hello everyone and welcome back to another SOLIDWORKS video. So for this video we're going to be applying the skills we learned in the previous uh, few videos and creating this gearbox assembly. Now if you're one of those individuals who are in my class I've gone ahead and I provided you all the parts you need so you shouldn't have to actually uh, design any parts you just have to put it all together. So uh, here's the parts list. I've got a uh, main body, some few McMaster car parts, um, a few uh, components from Boston gear, uh, a worm, and um, and uh, a spur a spur gear, uh, and a few other components. So let's take a look at some of the images. So we've got some of the internals where we got the the gear worm on the shaft here, and we've got this larger spur gear, and uh, we got this knob, and we got this uh, end component. So basically, this is going to be transferring motion from this knob um, to this shaft. So basically, it's going to be a 40 to 1 ratio. So for every uh, 40 turns of this knob, you'll get one rotation of this shaft. So uh, now that we've got an overview on uh, what this looks like, let's go ahead and uh, dive in and start building this. So I'm just going to move that over here. I got my uh, file with all my components up, so I'm going to open up a new assembly file. Okay, so the first component I'm gonna bring in is going to be um, my um, uh, body. Let's see. Wrong folder. This one right here. Okay, gearbox part. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and bring in the body. Gearbox main body. Kit, and I'm just going to drop it in like so. Alright, let's take a closer look. So we've got what looks to be the uh, shaft with the worm gear going through the upper part. And we've got the shaft with the spur gear on the lower part. So let's go ahead and start with the components of the spur gear. So let's take a look. We got component 11, which is the shaft. We've got um, 13, 12, and 10. So part uh, 13, 12, 10. So let's go ahead and bring in parts 13 and 12. So I'll bring in. Um, 6435K13. This one right here. Okay. And then we're going to need the bushing. So 13 is the collar, 12 is the bushing. So 6338K312. Uh, three, one, two. Okay, there's the bushing. Um, the spur gear is fourteen. And that's in the title Boston Gear ten thirty six. So we'll bring that in. And finally, the shaft is component, um, which component number is that? Component number 11, which is going to be 1-2 uh, gear shaft. Okay. All right, so this gearbox body is completely symmetric, so it doesn't matter which way I start in. So let's start putting this together. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put in uh, this bushing in place. So you reverse the direction. Okay, and then we'll bring it 
flat. Like so. And now I'm going to put the shaft in place. Uh, rotate. Okay. Um, so, um, so that'll be free to slide back and forth. Okay, now I need another. Uh, bushing on this end. The bushing was this. No, that's the collar. I don't need more of those. Um, okay, we'll bring in another bushing. And then we'll go ahead and we will constrain it to this side. Okay, and then it'll make it coincident. Okay, and now this will have the collar. On this back side. So I'm gonna move it over. We'll go ahead and we'll hide these uh, sketch elements real quick. Okay. Okay, like so. Now taking a closer look at uh, this end condition. We'll go ahead and we're going to put the collar flush with the bushing. Okay, like that. Now let's take a closer look at the drawing. So uh, I should have a distance somewhere in here. So 1.406 from this to this. We can go ahead and put that in. Standard mate, point four oh six. Okay. So that does it for the outer part. So now we're gonna work on the internals to get the gear in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hide this body. So I'm gonna right click on it. And uh, I'm gonna hide the component. Just hide that away for now, and we'll put this gear in place. So I'm gonna go mate concentric. Put that there, and I'm gonna flip it around. All right. Mm. And I'm gonna put another concentric mate in. This and this. We'll hit okay. All right, and now we've got a, a dowel pin number 10. So that is dowel pin uh, 0.12 by 0.625. So all your dowel, dowel pins will be uh, this part right here you'll just bring it in for configuration. So under configuration, I'm gonna bring in this one. Okay, and I'm gonna put that in place. Like so. And now I'm just going to make
this surface, this surface tangent, and that'll lock it in place nicely. Okay, so that should do it for that for that component for that part. So let's start working on the upper part now. So I'm going to go ahead and show the body again. And let's start working on the uh, worm component. So for that, I'm going to need to bring in uh, the knob, the shaft, and the worm. So the shaft is part number three. So 1.4. like so and I'm going to go ahead and place it in place for now I think I need it to face the other way based upon the drawing that's the right way because you're going to want to put the this component on the end here okay so now I'm going to need to bring in um, the bushings and the collars so we zoom in on view D so the Bushing is part number two and the collar is part number four. So part number two, six three, eight three K, uh, two one three and six four three five K twelve. Let's go ahead and bring those in. Okay. And six two K six three eight K two one three. All right, that's one. Okay, cool. So now I need to go back and, um, it should be this is going to go over here we'll rotate that around like so and we'll put it flush Like so, okay. okay. And this collar is gonna go on here. And we'll make it flush. Just like that. Okay. So now we've got uh, this view done nicely. Now we can bring in the knob, which is part number five. So that's just uh, K121, K94. Uh, right there. So, and we'll mate it. So, and then we'll make this and this concentric. And then we need uh, component six as the dowel pin. Let's see, uh, three this pin right here this 
this surface and this surface will be tangent. Okay. All right, so that works nicely. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, work on this side. So for that side, we got view C. Uh, so we've got the same collar and we've got uh, this clamp as part number seven. So we need bring in 6383K213 and 98408A120. Okay. Um, this one right here. Okay. So we'll go ahead and make concentric here, here. And we'll make this face this face coincident. I'll pull this out like here. And then we're gonna go ahead and make this. And this concentric. And we'll make this and this coincident. Okay. And now we'll go ahead and put it in place. So I've got a distance mates uh, 0.25 from this edge to that wall. So I'll go ahead and put that in. Point 0.25. All right. Very good. Now we can start working on the internals with the worm gear. So. Internally, we've got uh, part eight, which is the worm, and part nine, which is the dowel pin, which is this one right here. So we'll go ahead and we'll bring in the worm first. Go ahead and we'll hide this body. And we'll go ahead and we'll go mate concentric uh, flip it and we'll make a concentric mate here and here okay and then we'll bring in the dowel pin which is going to be part nine. Um, point oh nine three eight point three seven five. So this one right here we made it. Okay, and we'll add in a tangent mate here and here. Okay, and now we'll add in the mechanical mate. So we're gonna try to get um, this light up as well as it can be. So that's pretty good. It's not gonna be quite perfect, but we're gonna get it as close as we can until it looks neat. Okay, now I'm gonna put in the mechanical mate. Gear mate. So I'm just going to select um, that edge, this body, and let's put in a ratio of uh, 40 to 1. I think that's the way we want to do it. Okay. Let's try rotating it. And it does. It's working. It was. It's working the way we expect it to. All right. Let's go ahead, and we're gonna unhide the main body. All right. 
So the last part should be just the bottom cover. Let's see if I can't find the view of that. Um, that's part number 15, which is bottom cover. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a concentric mate here and here. Flip it around. Hit OK. OK. And now we're going to go co coincident this surface and this surface. OK. That looks good. The last component are the screws, which is part number 16, which is. 90273A108. Okay. And we'll put those in place. Okay, and I'll let everybody else just go ahead and put the screws in. So I think you can handle that. So that's the finished gearbox. And in the next video, we're going to work on uh, recreating. Uh, well, we'll learn how to uh, create some of these special images in the next video. How to get this um, internal component view up, and and so on and so forth. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get more content like this. Until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.